Next slide, please. Uh, so as you know, infectious disease are complex system where there are several different uh, species that interact uh, all together. And that's in order to um, understand uh, the uh, distribution and dynamics of uh, infectious disease is, is crucial to um, understand also the ecology and the population dynamics of uh, the species involved in the disease system. And, um, next slide, please. and today we have to map the spatial temporal distribution of, of a species. We have two main tools, which are correlative uh, um, species distribution models or so mechanistic species distribution models where, where correlative models uses um, the present absence locations of, of, a, of a given species and a set of environmental covariates to build a statistical model which, which will then infer the um, present absence distribution or suitability of the species in a given place in a given moment. While, uh, next slide, uh, while uh, mechanistic models uses um, uh, information gathered from lab experiment to build models that are much more tightly linked to the uh, ecology and biology of the species. And as you can see, uh, the two approaches may have areas of the prediction where they um, agree, where uh, other where they disagree. But given the uh, problems uh, related to the sampling bias, for example, that is affect uh, correlative models, we decide to work on uh, mechanistic models for it is uh, for uh, building a population dynamic model for it is mosquitoes. Next one, please. And that's why we the design uh, Dynam AIDES, which is a unified uh, population dynamic model framework for invasive AIDES mosquitoes, coded in uh, R. Um, thus, Dynam AIDES is uh, um, a model uh, which supports uh, the uh, inference of population dynamics of four AIDES species it is Aegypti, Albopictus, Japonicus, and Coraicus. And it. Uh, closer? Okay, sure. And uh, it. Um, use two main uh, environmental drivers for the inference, which are uh, temperature, because for each species we have um, temperature dependent, we have design, uh, gathering information from the literature, temperature dependent uh, um, regressions for uh, development and mortality rate. But as well, uh, we have, uh, also, we also consider photo period for uh, driving the egg hatching rate and the, the opposing egg uh, production. Um, to, in order to consider the heterogeneity of the different uh, um, temperature data set available, we design the model having three different explicit, special explicit scale. Um, and in one of these scales, we also allow the model to consider both active and passive dispersal of the mosquitoes. Um, as you know, it is mosquito life cycle has four main stages, which are egg, uh, larvae, pupae, and adult. But in order to uh, simplify the life cycle of the mosquito, we consider only three stages, which are egg, um, immatures, just merging together, um, larvae and pupae, and adults. And for each of these stage, um, for, for each of these compartment, we have several sub compartments which take into account the development of the population from egg to the adults. And uh, each arrow is a temperature dependent uh, binomial draw informed by those function I mentioned before that uh, drives the mortality rate from, for, of the population from one day to, the, to, to another. That's for example, if we consider the daily adult survival rate function uh, for Aedes albopictus uh, at a given temperature um, of uh, 26 degrees, um, you will have um, uh, a 94 percent of auto survival, which, uh, for example, having a population size of 500 individuals at the end of the day will result in having 466 uh, viable uh, female adults. Um, similarly, for the uh, diapose, um, for the diapose, um, we consider the photo period. Uh, what is it? Yeah, okay. So this is the profile of the day length uh, on a latitude of 41 degrees, so more or less the latitude of Istanbul uh, during a year. And uh, um, if we uh, consider that the amount of the opposing, the, the um, incidence of the opposing eggs increase as the day length decrease, uh, at this um, latitude, we have more or less the 50% of eggs production around uh, the 
the 36th week of the year, so around next week, more or less, according to the model and the information gathered from these two um, publications. And those, we use this information to drive the life cycle of the, of the mosquito, but as well, we consider uh, active and passive dispersal at uh, uh, when we have the model in the special explicit uh, scale. And the um, uh, active dispersal is the probability of the mosquito about um, moving from one pixel to another based on information gathered from mark release and recapture uh, studies. Uh, while uh, um, uh, we consider also the passive uh, dispersal, which is the probability of a mosquito of being caught by a car and being driven far away where it can be released and, uh, um, and start a new population in a new area. And um, as I said before, uh, next slide, please. Um, we have uh, encoded the model for having three different spatial scales, which means that you can use, for example, temperature uh, uh, weather station information, temperature time series, thus the model in this case is a spatial, and we will provide you the temporal dynamics profile of the, of the simulated populations, or you can use um, spatial explicit temporal time series uh, uh, at fine scale below one kilometer spatial resolution using, for example, climatic models such as uh, those provided by microclima package, or to get something more similar to um, classic species, correlative species distribution models, we can use um, um, temperature information, especially explicit again, uh, time series from at higher, uh, sorry, at coarser spatial resolution, so higher than one kilometers, using data gathered, for example, from climatic reanalysis such as ERA5 or regional circulation models. And the outputs of, of the model will be, um, of course, the um, estimation of, money of the individuals in each uh, stage during each day of the simulated uh, uh, population dynamics. Uh, but as well for the spatial explicit, explicit output, we can also consider the estimation of the, so the average uh, invaded uh, cells in the landscape, uh, as well as the average dispersal spread of the mosquitoes in square kilometers. And uh, we also provide a kind of synthetic index uh, of the, for the establishment of, of a population that we call percentage of successful introductions, which means that for every pixel where we simulated the introduction of the mosquitoes, at the end of the nth iterations, um, how many of those iterations resulted with a uh, uh, um, viable population. So for example, in this case, in those pixels here, in the day 100 of the simulation, we have the 40% of uh, um, iteration resulting in a, a successful and viable uh, simulated population. And to give you an example of uh, how, how the model works, uh, I have simulated, for example, the um, population dynamics of Aedes Coraicus in Trento. Trento is a city in the okay, is a city in the um, northeast of Italy, in the middle of the Dolomites, where Aedes Coraicus has been reported since uh, uh, 2012, 2013. And uh, I introduced, I simulated the population in, uh, in um, from to, to, with a weather station data set, uh, well, weather station time series from uh, the spring of 2015 till the end of 2018. I don't know if you can see what you, if you can see something, um, but basically our model uh, correctly uh, predict the fact that we have the overwintering of the mosquitoes in Trento, as we have observed in uh, in reality. And uh, the overwintering is supported by the production of the di opposing eggs, which was our assumption. Um, we, we, there are no paper on the opposing eggs, uh, the opposing eggs of uh, uh, Coraicus, but we gathered information from Japonicus Yap um, since the two species are quite closely related. And we validate the model uh, for the year 2016 uh, using data gathered from BG traps. And uh, for the observation available, what we got was a, 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 a precision of the, our estimate of about 0 0.9 um, R, Pearson R. Um, and finally, um, to give you a last example, um, next slide, please. Um, I, we simulated the, um, uh, we, we provide uh, here an example of the output of a regional model where we, of Aedes albopictus, uh, where we 
simulate the introduction of uh, hundreds of eggs in each pixel covering the continental France from uh, the spring 2015 till uh, spring 2020. And at the end of the, sim the simulations, uh, what we got was that the areas where we um, recorded the highest amount of iteration resu resulting in a viable population were the southern part of France uh, and the Rhone Valley, as well as with here on the um, uh, west coast of France. And we validate this um, prediction considering the um, eggs uh, of the OVIP trap observation from Kramer 2015 and from VectorNet. And the, in the 88% of the cases on, of, of this observation, um, the, the point, the coordinates laid in a pixel having a proportion of uh, a successful introduction higher than uh, 1%. Uh, thus, in conclusion, yes. Um, Dynamaeides is a model, thus is a simplification of reality, and it has many assumptions because it is based on uh, uh, information gathered from, from, from the literature and adapter for uh, species where we don't have such information, such, information, such as for Aedes japonicus and Aedes corecus, um, which will need some finer tuning. Uh, we hope to submit the package on the CRAN and the manuscript before the end of the year. And one of the future implementation of this model we foresee is to try to plug our population dynamics estimate into an SIR or SCIR model. Thanks. Thank you.